Hey guys, welcome back to the channel as we continue our seven days. Seven days of Nika Takatsuru Pure Malts from No Aid Statements. Right up to the big daddy, the 35 year old. So before I kick off, I was previously drinking some of the old uh, black and gold label Takatsuru No Aid Statement, which is fabulous. In fact, I can still feel that lingering right now. So yeah, that's good stuff. And um, before I do the 21 year old, which is next to go. Um, what I'm going to try. Well, it's not a whiskey, but again, whoop, you see that? It's a rum by that particular, well, they call it, it's called that particular rum company, but a lot of you may be familiar with that particular whiskey company. It's the same people, and they bottled up a nice um, batch of Travelers Distillery. That's the blue hole there, which is part of. The Belize Coral Reef, which is the second largest after Australia's own Great Barrier Reef. So and that kicks in at 56.1% and it is absolutely fabulous. I've got a spare bottle of that kicking around, so I'm going to enjoy that while I'm doing this. Japanese whiskey of all things, but what the heck? It's all good if it's good. Ah, geez, even the nose is fab. Excuse me. So let's talk about the Nikka 21 year old and I've had a few of these as well and again these notes are going back a little bit in time but uh, and again I have another bottle that I own with some friends so I look forward to revisiting that again it's always good to retry stuff that you've tried before you might pick up something different so also rings at 43% uh, ABV and on the nose for the 21 year old. Now I mentioned it in my last video with the 17 year old, these were ringing in at about 10,000 yen back in the day, which is, I know the US dollar is doing really well against the yen right now. So less than a hundred dollars, I'd say 90, $95 US for a 21 year old pure malt Japanese. Seriously, if you could get that now, we'd all jump on it, wouldn't we? I know I would. If I could now, luckily I've got we've got that other bottle. Wouldn't pay what I what they cost now, but it's a good whiskey. So on the nose, there's masses of sweet oak, wheat, unusual. There's a the, the wheat grain, peaches, apricots, those orchard style fruits, vanilla, and definitely. A good sherry cask influence so sherry cask notes like raisins along those lines there's a nuttiness to it as well so sweeter styles of nuts and then also the Brazil nuts which I also get from uh, from your witchy whiskey and then there's some floral notes so when I wrote these again 43% sometimes I add water on this occasion no I didn't, but there's a, a nice little floral note that floats across the top of the nose. So it's reasonably complex on the nose as well. And there's some dusty oak notes from the age. And on the palate, salt, a decent amount of oak from that 21 years in barrels, like a true 21 years. Malt, biscuity. I think more like the American style of biscuits mixed with the Australian and British style of biscuits. So you've got the baked style like American, then you've got the ones that come in packets. Ginger spice, so a little bit of heat there as well. Black pepper. The coating of the outside of peanuts. Some cloves vanilla and it's good complexity in this one also the bit of stone fruit that apricot and peaches and it packs a lot more heft than 43 percent would suggest it's probably the age and it's full-bodied the finish is warming medium length 
and it has, a, has some peanuts, cloves, and fresh mintiness on the palate. Now, that particular tasting, I've got like 86 out of 100. But what I found with the 20, 86 out of 100. But with the 21-year-old, I found with most bottles, they probably get around that 88, 89 mark consistently. So for myself, more consistent by far than the 17-year-old. I really enjoy... It's just this body complexity conviction, for want of a better word, that you get from the 21-year-old. <clears throat> yeah, back then when they were 10,000 yen and the 17-year-old was like six and a half or seven, something like that, six and a half or 7,000 yen, you'd say, why bother? But I would definitely bother at that price. The 21-year-old is definitely a more consistent and more convincing step over the 17 year old but still going back to this one here no age statement black and gold label if you can get it it's right up there it's a different beast there's definitely like there's so much sherry cask influence in it you know even the color generally is just a little bit darker so if you think the 17-year-olds, the 18-year-old Takatsuru, oh, sorry, 17-year-old, 21-year-old Takatsurus are too expensive. If you, if you can get this, it ain't short of the mark of those age statements, and it generally, consistently, it's better than the 17. Grab it if you can get it. So, take care, guys. Going to come back and do a review of the 25 and the 35-year-old at the same time. And there's a reason for that. So take care. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. See you in the next video. Bye for now. Cheers.